Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Invest For More, and we are counting laundromat money. We had a record week bringing cash in from the change machine, which usually indicates a record in the machines. So it was cool to see all this money in there. We had to refill the machine a couple of times, but we don't always know if that means a record in the machines or not. Usually there's more money in the machines than cash, but um, we did have one albatross of a week before at our small, tiny laundromat, which we'll be visiting tomorrow. So we're just checking out to see how much money there is here. And then we're going to open up the machine, see how many quarters are in there to see if that is indeed a record. We'll show you the history since we've opened in December of all the um, revenue we've brought in so far and how that's been trending. And of course, we'll talk about any problems and issues and crazy stories like the lady filling up water in the laundromat, um, which was just interesting. And we'll talk about all of that here coming up very soon. But the good news is this was definitely more money than we've ever had in here before, over $1,200. Let's see if that translates. All right, we're checking the change box to see how much money is in here. This is always a good indication of how much money is in the machines. And we've had a really good week so far because I've already taken money out of here twice. And the last time was two days ago and we had over $1,000 in here. So, well, I was hoping there'd be less in there. That means there's not as much in here. But we should have more cash in here than we've ever had before, which hopefully will translate to more cash in the machines. It's a Friday and I always feel this as full as I possibly can because there's a chance we could run out if we have a very busy weekend. Reset that. Make sure that light's off and the green light's on. We should be good to go. And hopefully all this translates into way more money in the machines. The cleaner just told me she's gonna be gone all weekend. And I was really hoping it was sparkling clean in here. But as you can see, it is not. So I was here two days ago and it was clean. It is amazing how fast it gets dirty in here and how people just don't pick up their stuff. So part of what we'll do, but we do have some good news, some exciting news. We should have more money than ever in the machines based on what I've seen in the cameras and what I've seen in the coin box so far. So that's good news. And we've got a couple of machines fixed. Not all of them, but a couple of them. So these over here, that one was leaking. That one's fixed. This one has to be remounted. It came off its mounts and that shook it loose, shook a fuse out, um, messed up the coin stuff. So that one will take a little more work and that's one of our big, nice machines too. And then we have some repair guys. They were not able to reprice the dryers yet. So they're gonna try and do that here soon. But for whatever reason, um, they were not able to get those done. Why is that read zero? There we go. Uh, because some of these dryers are priced wrong. 99 minutes. What's going on there? That's weird. Oh, okay. Sometimes the doors are confusing. Hmm. We might have to reset that one. Funky stuff happens all the time. And that one isn't heating, and the bottom one needs a new fan or a new belt, I think. And then this machine right here was fixed too. It had a coin issue, but now it should be working, hopefully. It says 275, which makes me think it should be three. Someone put a quarter in, and is it not working again? We'll check that out too. And then someone said the pop machine has some issues, so there's always stuff going on but we'll try and get as much of it fixed as we can and clean up a little bit and see how much money there is because that should be the exciting fun part. All right, we're gonna start collecting money here soon. Uh, we are doing a little earlier in the day than normal. So, I mean, I'm sure that doesn't pack things because I don't think anyone's been here yet today. And when I do it in the afternoon, there's definitely, that's a good start. There's definitely, more money in here in the afternoon. But like I said, we should have a record day. That's not bad. These machines last week 
don't have a ton of money in them, and the, I already can tell it's a little better this week. That one is a little finicky. Pretty good. The first week we were open, we had almost nothing in those machines. Zero dollars. So it's always good to see at least something. Okay. That's better, that's a heavy one. That's not bad either. Once in a while I need to check the coin boxes and make sure in here there's no straight quarters. And this one should have nothing because it's not working. You'd be surprised though, people still try to put quarters in some of these that uh, stay out of order. Not a lot there. That one, that was the one that was broken most of the week though. So that was just fixed a couple of days ago. So that makes sense. There's not much money in there. That was better. And this is pretty fun. I know these videos of people collecting quarters are all over YouTube and Facebook and TikTok and Instagram now. And even though I do this myself, not bad there. Uh, I still find myself watching those videos from other people too. I'm like, oh, how much did they get this time? So I can see the lure. Oh, that's a good one too. Although a lot of the other ones have much fuller boxes than I do. But we're getting better. And I know a lot of those other ones too sometimes will wait, you know, and do collections more than a, you know, sometimes 10 days, 11 days, a week. So we always try and do a week. Sometimes it's six days, sometimes seven. That's a pretty heavy one. Not bad there. And of course our upfront machines are the big ones that do the best and we always save that for last. So this will definitely be better than last week. Like I said, based on the money we had in the change machine, we should have a record amount in these two. We'll see. Well, that's not bad there. We definitely need the machines up front to carry the load. And of course, we'll have the dryers to check too. And this is the other one that was broken. Oh, that's the one here. while we're here. Let's see what happens. No, that works. I don't know why someone had put a quarter in. Maybe they decided they're gonna use a different machine after putting one quarter in that one. Not sure. Oh, we gotta switch to the other key. Not bad again. I feel like I can usually lift these or hit my head on the mat. Oh, that feels about the same as last week, if not a tiny bit heavier. And we haven't done the big machines yet. Oh, that's a real good one too. So, that's good. I don't know if there's quite as much as I was expecting though, based on how much money's been in the change machine. Maybe there's a lot of money in the dryers, we'll see. Or these machines could just be overflowing. That's good, that's a good one. Like I said, these, Always have the most. And this one always does good. Oh, that's a good box. And our best one is this one right here. Our biggest machine. 
Oh, that's a good box too. So we'll see what that is. Pretty heavy. But again, I don't know if it's quite as heavy as our best week, maybe. Someone was trying to park in our laundromat. Only parking over there. Oh no, are they still trying to park there? We'll see if they're doing laundry. We had a City of Greeley car do that last time. That one's out of order, so it should be empty. And they weren't very keen on leaving. That was pretty annoying. And that person is not doing a very good job of parking, and we'll see if they go to the DMV or not. Hey, that's not bad. The DMV is right next to us. And uh, we got four dedicated spots, and they have like 50, but people still park in our spots. Hey, that's a good one too. Oh, now she's backing up again. I don't know if you can see that all the way or not. Is she trying to repark or is she see the signs? What's going on here? You're distracting me from my important job. Based on her parking skills, she might, oh, you're doing the, oh, did she just spit on that car? That was gross. You've parked exactly the same as you did before. What, you just spit on that car? That's disgusting. She literally just spit on that car. It's on the car. What is wrong with people? I want to see if she's doing laundry. She can come in here. If she's not, I'm going to go talk to her. That was gross. Now I'm really distracted. I don't know which, which boxes I did and didn't do. I'm just going backwards until they're empty. Okay. Now I don't know which ones I did over here. Oh, is that another one of those gold quarters? It might just be dirty. There's some gold quarters that I found in the, I think it's a Kersey laundromat. There's still quarters in there. Maybe the, Guys fixing machines were testing him, and they did that. I'm still counting it. Oh, that's a lot there. She's not doing laundry. Hey, that's a pretty good one there, too. Again, I'm slightly disappointed. I thought there would be more money in these machines. But again, I've been wrong before on how much there is. But not bad. That's heavy. Hopefully, we broke a record. I like breaking records, but we'll see. This lady doing laundry here? Are you doing laundry? Are you doing laundry? Okay, thank you. I can't believe she spit on that car. That's disgusting. I wonder if the camera picked it up. Sorry for bringing that into your lives <laughs> for those watching. <laughs> okay. Now we'll check all the other machines and see how they did too. Oh 
my keys are always falling apart. Okay, there's a little bit of, I don't think we used as much soap as last week. There's some gone, but not as much as last week. Last week, big soap usage day. <laughs> Always a straggler, always. I really don't. This one doesn't work. That's the only one. I really don't need to fill those. We don't use enough of those to have to, well, maybe I will. I won't show that part of it. That's boring. We'll see how this machine does. I feel like it's been doing better. I don't know if we have to refill anything yet, but it's been working. Oh, not a ton. It's okay. And there might be an extra dollar in there too that I put in there because every time I shut this up and uh, lock it, I put a quarter in. Oh, it's not working to make sure it works. There we go, that one worked. Okay, then we'll check the pop machine too. Oh, there's a dime in there. A couple dimes. Yes, money is dirty. Always wash your hands after handling all this. Maybe as part of the DMV requirements for getting your license, they should monitor the parking lot and if people can park or not, or if they spit on people's cars. I'll stop talking about that, sorry. I feel zero bad about telling her to move when she did that. Oh, I should have tested this before, I, that's okay, to see if it worked. Because it was actually my cleaner who told me she tried to get a pop and it wasn't working. There's nothing stuck in there. Oh, the Sprite's kind of low. Okay. There's enough of everything else. Sorry, lots of squeaky noises here. <laughs> It's not a bad amount, but you know, if it's uh, not working, it's probably not a bad amount. I'll check out while I'm here. It says it's out. It's got the out light on. So yeah, something must be jammed. That's annoying. That's kind of a pain. And uh, we won't shut that all the way for now. Just a little bit. Um, this machine is really sharp. <laughs> That's one thing they don't tell you in laundromat videos. Is uh, a lot of the coin boxes, vending machines, so many sharp edges and jagged metal in them so when you are trying to fix them and reach in there there's a good chance i'm going to come out bloody 
Not too bad of an injury, but hopefully my tetanus shot is up to date. All right. That's our money collection for now. We'll check out the pop machine and see what's going on. And of course, we'll head to the other laundromat later today. Oh, no. First, we'll clean up all the quarters we just dropped everywhere because I didn't zip that bag. Then we'll do the other stuff. We fixed it. So there was one jammed in there. I put a bunch of paper towels because I pretty much had to break the can to get it out, not that can. That can down there. So I don't know why, but sometimes it just jams right there. And as soon as I pop that other can out, the one popped down. So I think we're good to go now. Okay, we're counting the coins to see if we broke a record or not. This is a vending machine. I'm not sure if we broke a record. I thought for sure we were going to with all the money that was in that change machine. But this has happened before. It happened in the Kersey laundromat, the small one. We'll have a video on that tomorrow. Where one week, I just had a ton of cash in that quarter machine. And people took all the quarters out. But there was actually way more cash taken out of it than put in the machines. That only happened one week. Every other week, there's been more money in the machines than in the quarter machine. I know I keep saying machines. Hopefully you understand what I'm talking about. So, um... There's a chance we don't break a record. Feeling the buckets, it didn't feel quite as heavy, but again, that was a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago when we broke the record, and um, that's not the best judge in the world on how much we had. And we also had less money in the vending machines, too, which kind of makes me think, well, maybe there wasn't as much money in these machines as we thought. So we'll see how it goes. Now, we also had some interesting stuff happen uh, that you may have seen on my shorts. Uh, not my shorts that I wear, the video shorts that we have on YouTube. We had a lady come in and fill up a bunch of water in the bathroom. And so I came in there on like a Friday night, because I'd forgotten something there last week, and I saw her in the bathroom. I was like, what's going on? And I walk in, I'm like, hey, what's going on? And she's like, oh, hi. I'm like, what are you doing? And she's like, I'm filling up my water. I'm like, okay. I'm like, why are you filling up your water? And she's like, who are you? Are you management? I'm like, I own the place. She's like, oh, oh, okay, I'm sorry. I, um, She said her pipes froze a few weeks ago when we did have cold weather, and that's, yes, we did. Many of you know that. And that her ceiling has asbestos, and the plumber won't fix it, and so she's been without water for three weeks, and um, she can't get water. So she came to the laundromat to get water. I'm like, that's interesting, but all right. And then she said... I'm like, I asked her, I said, okay. And you can see, we did pretty good on the dryers this week, but I don't think that's a record. <laughs> and I said, okay, well, I'm like, you know, plumbers, people can actually remove up to 55 or 50 gallons of asbestos in Colorado without any special requirement in most cities. Some cities are different. And I said, our plumber would be glad to cut into that and do that. And I was trying to talk to her about it. And, and she's just like, am I going to be able to fill up these jugs or not? And I said, okay, you can fill up the rest of your jugs. And she did that, and she left, and I kept an eye on the camera to make sure she didn't take my cart or anything. She didn't. And I so I thought that was the end of it, but then the lady who cleans in the store, I asked her, I'm like, hey, have you seen this lady? And she's like, she's been back twice this week. Um, she's very weird. She isn't polite. My daughter told me to tell her to just go away and leave, and she can't be here. But the lady said that the owner of the laundromat said she could come whenever she wanted and get water. So I'm like, oh, okay. So I told her, I'm like, you can tell her to leave if you want to, if you feel uncomfortable, or text me, let me know. And if I'm around, I'll come talk to her. But she said that it was awkward, it was weird. And, you know, who knows the whole story? Who knows if what she said is true or not? Um, there's lots of different theories on that. But if she's making my customers uncomfortable, if she's making the cleaner uncomfortable, that's not good for business. And... My number, one, my number one priority is the customers and making sure they're happy and comfortable. And some people said, oh, well, if they're too uptight. They're, you know, if they're not, un if they're uncomfortable, I'm like, well, then they're too uptight, but they're still my customers and that's still my number one priority. So uh, we'll see. I've been kind of watching the cameras. I haven't seen her, but there's a lot going on in the cameras. We'll see if she comes back or not or what situation that is. Some people are like, you should follow her and see where she goes. I'm like, I, I don't have time for that. <laughs> I'd have to be the perfect timing to catch her there, but um, 
it was an interesting situation to say the least. So, going back to our count, which I did speed up, again, a good count, a really good week, but I don't know if it's a record. And so, after I do the count, I go back, type into my Excel sheet all my numbers and figures, and then I transfer those figures to this graph, and then we can see what happens. So, it's definitely a good trend. The laundromat is definitely doing better. I've, I've said it before. I think our break even is about $4,000 a month after you count rent and utilities and internet and cameras plus um, cleaning. Cleaning has been very affordable. It's just been like $100 a week or so. So maybe a little bit more than 4000 that we added cleaning, but in that range. So you can see we had an awesome, awesome first week in January and then things um, dropped off a little bit and then they got back almost up there we didn't quite break a record it was over 1300 the first week of January maybe oh sorry 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 the fourth week of January um, and then the first week of February we almost got there and it was one of those weird we weeks where we just had a ton of money in the change machine but not as much in the machine so unless something strange and somehow somebody's taking money i don't think that's happening because the machines were pretty consistent like all of them kind of had the same amount of money that i normally see in them it's not like one machine was empty or had a lot less or anything like that so um it was just almost a record-breaking week not quite and i don't think next week's going to be a record-breaking week either because the lady who um, cleans the laundromat does a ton of laundry there too and that's how i met her and um, I think she's responsible for a lot, <laughs> a lot of our business. And I know she's going to be gone this weekend. So it might be a slower than normal weekend. It'll be interesting to see on Monday what happens. Um, and hopefully there's no one calling or saying, oh, your change machine is broken or it's not working over the weekend. Once in a while that happens and I try and go over there. But it is very close to me. It just takes five, ten minutes to get to it. So it's not a huge deal. But this last weekend, the weekend before that, there are no problems, no issues. So that's always nice too. We've had very few calls, very few text messages about issues, but part of that as well is that the, the lady who cleans laundromat is there all the time and she's able to relay me problems and issues because a lot of times the customers have issues when she's there. She's like, oh, this machine's broken. This one's not working right. Something happened there. And so it's nice to have her there too as a set of eyes and ears for the business. Encouraging, not quite the record I was hoping for. You can see the trend is in the right direction. I'd love to get this up to $2,000 a month. And if we did that, that'd be awesome. You know, we could always add wash and fold at some point too. That adds more employees, more people working, more complications, but it could bring in a lot more business as well. And um, good trends. So tomorrow we'll have the Kersey laundromat. A lot of people like that little baby laundromat. <laughs> and I can tell you tomorrow's video will be exciting. So it will be fun and in a good way. So stay tuned for that. We'll have more on this one, of course, and we'll see what happens with my flips, rentals, and commercial properties because I'm still investing in those. Um, we just got a new flip under contract as well. It's a crazy flip with the skate park in the basement. If you didn't see my shorts, check those out. Again, not the shorts I wear, but the shorts on YouTube. All right, we'll be back soon. Love to hear what you think.